Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows cannot connect to the System Event Notification Service. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, first thing we're going to do is head over to the Start button, left click on it one time. Into the Start menu search, you want to type in Services. Best match should come back with Services right above Desktop App, left click on that one time. In services, you want to scroll down to the Windows Font Cache service. Right here, double click on it. If service status is running, you want to left click on stop. And then once service status says stop, you want to left click on start. And now you attempt to try and open up the system event notification service again and see if that has resolved the problem. If it has not, I'm going to show you guys another thing we can try here, and that would be to go ahead and locate the DHCP client server. So we're going to scroll up here, so DHCP client, double click on it. You want to make sure startup type is set to automatic, and if server status is stopped, you want to left click on the start button, and then just do apply and OK like we did with the previous servers. So pretty straightforward on that one as well. Another thing you can try to do would be to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should say command prompt. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you see a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. I want you guys to just paste it directly from my description into the command prompt window you see here. So again, just copy it right out of the description of my video. And once you've copied it, so just right click and copy or use the keyboard shortcut, whichever you prefer. And once you've copied the whole command, you want to go up to the top bar of this command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once you paste it in, it should see the operation completed successfully, and there should be a blinking cursor at the end of it. So just hit enter one more time to run the second command and it should again see the operation completed successfully. Make sure you're using an administrative command prompt as I showed how to access in the first part of this tutorial. So once you're done with that, I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that has resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.